Hi everyone, it's your girl. Hello beautiful people. Here's a quick empty tour of my first ever apartment in Paris. This was my last walkthrough before moving on to my second place. And naturally, as the cancer that I am, I got a little emotional as this place carried a lot of memories for me. A lot of first in Paris. And you know, your first time doing anything is always a special, memorable one. But I said my piece out. Had to move on to the next bigger and better. And then after I pieced out everything, said ciao, I got my keys to my new place. During this time, I learned that moving is one of the most stressful inducing things. My goodness, oh la la. And I took an Uber XL to an Airbnb, then got everything utilities wise set up in my new apartment while staying in this hotel room. My second apartment came unfurnished, and here's a little mini tour. This apartment is 21 square meters. I paid 950 euros a month with water included, and everything you see came with the place already. I got it through an agency called Aquilis, who I highly recommend. I had a washer and dryer in unit, which is quite the luxury in Paris, and they worked well too. Then moving on to the bathroom was so spacious with a shower that had both a stationary and a detachable head, which has now become a new standard for my future homes. <laughs> a towel dryer, of course, and then under the sink storage that came in clutch. And of course, after the bathroom, last but certainly not least, the main living space for my bed, desk, and what could have been my couch, but we'll get to that later. The kitchen had not only a large refrigerator, but a freezer too, and so much storage that was quite helpful when I lived there. If you're moving to Paris or another European city from the States like I did, keep in mind that the living spaces are not significantly smaller, but smaller. But it's quite manageable and easy to adapt to, so just adjust that, think about that when you're packing, all that good stuff. I also really lucked out with this place because I got a stovetop and an oven, which for a studio can be quite rare versus a one-bedroom, two-bedroom, or bigger, but it worked out. And yeah, that's the bulk of my place. Let me know what was your favorite, my first or second place. Take it away, moving in, Savvy seat. <sighs> It's like little things I'll fit into one bag that I'll bring tomorrow. Or probably, that might be like another Tuesday. But the bulk of the stuff is all here, baby. Like that's really like 98% of my stuff. So that's why if you want to see it. First up, I unpacked my mattress from Emma, which I highly recommend. They have great seasonal sales and really a finished delivery. And all of my utilities were installed on the same day as well, which was very nice, really convenient. I was living like this for a while. And do you think I did a responsible thing and organize? <laughs> Mais non, mes amis. Instead, I took my first solo trip to Prague, Budapest, and Malta. Hey, hey, living my best life. And after that trip and a new paycheck, because I needed hello, I ventured out to the best IKEA in Ile de France to furnish my place. There's now there's two IKEAs in Paris, one in Medellin and the other one by the Louvre. But they're small with limited offerings. So going there, just go for decorations or like quick handheld things like I don't know, curtains, maybe a little lamp, pillows, things like this, towels, etc. But come here for large, full-size pieces of furniture. I came here for freezing area bay and the bus um, because it's a 93 versus Paris to 75. And here we go. This is what makes this IKEA the best on Manavi. You can get the furniture directly and see what you're working with without the stress of delivery or uncertainty of shopping online. Here's how it works. You go to one of the mini screens like this, look up your item, find its exact location by alley number and level, et voila. The item, if still available, will be right there. And there's also the name too for further reference.
Next up was my bed, which I got a great deal on. But turns out it was literally for children, and that's why it was so cheap. But hey, a win is a win. I don't care what y'all say. A win is a win. You hear me? And same thing. Check to make sure if it's in store. Make a note of its location. And then bring your stuff all the way over there. Luckily for this one, it was on display as well. So that made it a lot easier for me to just see it one last time before I ultimately decided on purchasing it. Guys, I found my mattress! Look, my future bed. I'm very excited. It's been quite the day. Spending so much money. <laughs> but it'll be worth it. Because I have a furnished room. Oh, ja, ja. I'm very excited though, and I think it's right here. Yes. So I need to figure out which one I want. Oh, hold up. I would have to get all four. Ooh. Yikes. Hello, baby people. It's your girl. Check it back in. So, I was living over there. It's my now future bed. And I was just staring at it. And I was like, God, get me through. We're just through, Jesus. And this lady who works here is très, très, très gentil. Femme, elle est moi avec le mouveau. Et maintenant, voilà. So there's four pieces. So I was kind of, my understanding was correct. So there's uh, the tacat piece to like make the whole thing together. Then the trash can, my pillow, and my mirror. And that's it. So I'm going to go buy this. And then I'm um, going to take an Uber van home. And then just like stop spending money for <laughs> like the rest of the month. And then go from there. But I got the curtains this morning, and I have this, and my mirror, yeah, my curtains, bed, mirror, trash can, pillow. One thing this is my desk, but like I can just go to campus for that, but this is a good, this is progress, this is progress. I got my items and made it to the checkout line, then ordered an Uber X back to Paris. Then I headed to the then newly open H&M home and realized in this very moment that I appreciate and applaud great interior design. But ooh, we I don't have enough patience to create that for my own space. So shout out to those of you who can. Shout out to the Virgos, the Neogram Ones, the OCD Girls, all of you. I really salute you and, and admire you because it just, I like again, I can just appreciate it from afar. It was fun to make Pinterest boards and get a color palette going and like a vibe aesthetic in my mind. But putting it and bringing it to life, ooh, it was exhausting. But it was nice. I liked it in here. Um, when I went here, it was just, it was pretty brand new. I think it just opened like less than a month ago. But now obviously this is filmed over a year ago. So I'm sure more people have heard about it. But highly recommend to the ninth H&M Home. There might be another location by now. Let me know in the comments if you've been to this one or if there's another one in your city or other places around the world. I'd love to hear about it. But yeah, it was just basics interior stuff they had clothes as well sheets every you know bedroom every area of the house that you could think of they had supplies for it a bit on the more expensive side for H&M I was kind of surprised but overall maybe the quality's better I don't know but then after that I transferred into Brittany the Builder with my toolbox from Leroy Merlin and first up was my full body mirror, which didn't take long at all. Thankfully, that was nice. It was pretty direct and simple. Then second was my curtains, which did take some time. The thing about these curtains, hooey, was that I had to get, or not had to get, I had to create new holes in the wall so that the rod could hold them up. Because no one, I don't know whoever lived there before me didn't have... Maybe they filled, no, because there weren't even holes that were filled in. Yeah, so I don't know what the person did before me, but they didn't have curtains existing. So I had to, after literally hammering my hand off, <laughs> I found a way, thankfully, to, to put them up. And in about a few seconds, yeah, here is the final product, which I'm very proud of. And um, it was a nice addition having that uh, curtains hung up. It was a nice little little touch, if you will. Then third on the list were my hamper and an in shower storage rack, both from Leroy Merlin. That's the hammer or the hammer. <laughs> That's the hamper builds up, and then here's how the storage rack building went for you. Oh, there we go. There we go. <gasps> Oh, wait, no. That was the right one. Okay. And 
after a mild yet justified panic, it all started clicking. <laughs> See what I did there? And this became such a huge asset for my bathroom. And here's the reveal. The before and after, if you will. Bye, bye, hello. What you think? What you think? Comment down below on my building skills. Would, would you hire me? Would you hire me? Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> Next up, the fourth piece was the couch. <sighs> Here we go. Let me tell you what happened with this couch, right? So, I went to my beloved Maison du Monde. Highly recommend. The Grand Boulevard location is top tier. And during my trip there, I tested out as many couches as I could and came across this one in particular and loved it immediately. Like, this is literally me decorating it admiring my work being so excited i'm about to give you the double thumbs up like oh i just loved it so much it was just perfect really i was able to afford it taxes included and everything it was a fairy tale find it was all this good things right we have winner until they pulled up so they come <laughs> and deliver it and I accounted for enough space for the couch itself, but not the packaging. So I took it inside, and since it didn't seamlessly go through both of my doorways, they took it back. And looking back, it could have worked. It was very Jack and Rose and the Titanic energy. Like, they could have made it work. But anyways, fifth piece was my desk chair, also from Maison du Monde. And I was able to just work on this. It was pretty direct, pretty easy. And here's just me singing along as I build it up and do the last final bit. Big pieces like this were a lot easier to assemble. So if you're looking to do the same, don't doubt yourself. Try it out. You can, you'll be impressed by what you can come up with and what you can figure out. Okay, here we go. I'm actually sitting here, huh? I'm nervous. <laughs> okay. Oh, snap. Oh. Yes, yeah. And here's the reveal. Now, moving on to the sixth piece, my desk from C Discount, which is a great website. I also highly recommend this one for checking them out for items. Also, too, everything that I mentioned will be in the description box below. So check that out after this video is over. At this point, I was starting to take a little liking to a fr assembling furniture. It felt like figuring out a puzzle almost. Like I had the final picture of what I was achieving, and then bit by bit I started you know laying out the pieces getting the screws together I tried everything organized the pieces into different categories looked at the instructions and started building and two after all this I have a new found respect for those who do this full-time very labor intensive I was always sore after building these days and as you can see my methods weren't always <clears throat> traditional to say the least but hey it worked and they all were functional and served me well so for that I'm thankful and, and proud of me I'm so proud of you Savvy you, you did that thing girl did it girl oh I got it <laughs> and here's the great reveal et voila this is a great disc now last but certainly not least the seventh piece was my Ikea bed like the desk, I used the same method of separating everything before I began. Building this bed was quite eventful, but so rewarding at the end of each milestone. Like this moment was a huge sigh of relief for me to be able to really see it come together and look like the picture. I forgot to film the finished product, so here's bit by bit reveals of everything to get so you guys can see what um, <laughs> it looked like bit by bit. Um, but yeah, it was just really rewarding to do so and this moment in particular where it like finally clicked and I got the wheels to work and added the drawers after this. I was just like, oh snap, I'm ready to build it for real, for real. I'm doing a little something, something. <laughs> and so that was just nice. Listen to some music, thumbs up for you guys. And yeah, that's kind of the final product, the final reveal of my good old bed. And those are the, the drawers that I finished up or was finishing up. Guys, it's really starting to hit me. My chair is leaving today in the matter of, oh my goodness, 12 minutes. So I'm going to do one last spin to commemorate and remember the good times. Helped me a lot. Made a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of editing, some, you know, tearful sessions, of course, some mental breakdowns, some tears. But 
really supported me and helped me a lot through this era in my Paris journey, the Paris chapter of my life. And yeah, I'm gonna do one last spin and then wish it well, as send it off well as it goes to its new owner. One last time. All right, let's pack it up and let's drop this baby to its sticks owner. Oh, and also inside the pillows. I'll show that in a second. And here are the pillows along with the chair before I sold them, along with my mattress and desk before they were sold as well on the Bon Quan. Another great website to check out and the link will be in the description box. Okay guys, moving updates. I, I don't know if you can hear an echo, 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 but things are emptying out. So this is what's going all this stuff is going i said for that robe i'm gonna keep that robe and the toilet paper i'll probably use before i fly out but all this stuff i'm getting rid of about to get rid of these curtains and then on the other side is the stuff that i'm keeping but i'm still dwindling down dwindling down dwindling down dwindling down so Air mattress bag, and then suitcase one, suitcase two, three, four, and then like grocery store reusable bag. And again, I'm trying to condense this down as much as possible and hope they'll be able to do that so that all of my belongings can fit into suitcases with extra room to spare, plus this bag just for storage and like future use when I move back to Paris. So. Yeah, or like come back, move back. I, I still live here full time, but when I come back from traveling. But yeah, it's really starting to feel real. Now we're less, officially less than 24 hours till my walkthrough, which in French they say état de l'eau, like state of affairs. And um, usually it kind of hit me that I'm out, I'm heading out. But uh, also I'm excited, I feel good about it. I feel um, that out with the olds will bring in new opportunities and just new heights and new growth that um, I think I'm, I'm ready for now. Before I was a bit scared and hesitant, but I'm ready now and making way and making room for it.